kid has a phenomenal ear. Uh, that's too much trouble. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll fix it in the mix. Let's go surfing now, everybody's learning how. Come on a safari with me. Come on a safari. You know, I cut tracks for Coltrane, Duke Ellington, Nat King Cole. I'm telling you, Mr. Wilson, you got a genius on your hands out there. You must be very proud. Yeah. <laughs> that was only the B side. Take it from the top. What? Take it from the top, please. Why? Brian. What was wrong with that, Uncle Murray? Everything was garbled and nasal. And you have to slow it down. <laughs> That's the beat, Pop. That's rock and roll. Well, it's not music. We can do better. You heard the man. We can do better. Hey, Brian, what's it like having your father be your manager? Ah, it's great. <laughs> cool it, will you? <laughs> Sorry, so I'm stuck in my throat hard to swallow. Uh, Brian and I are co-writing some new material, which will be released in time for our big summer tour. And before I forget it, I have some official Beach Boys buttons for you all. I promised you would do this. What's it say? I know Brian's dad. Yeah, Bob's planning to sing on our next single. Better him than you. At least Murray can carry a tune. <laughs> what would our fans think if they found out you hardly play on our records? Or if they found out only one of the Beach Boys knows how to sing. Is that true? Nah. Come on, Mike, show them your stuff. You're Mr. Beach Boy. Come on, man, surf's up. It's too cold. Not for a real beach boy. Cancel a session? What do you? No, sir. Murray, if you're not satisfied, why don't you take the direct feed and ride the gain yourself? Okay, then. Let's go back and try it. Barbara Ann, take 11. No, no, no. Damn it, Brian, you just hit a whole time low. Back off, old man. I'm not talking to you, Dennis. Well, I'm talking to you, Murray. You want to know what they think of you down at the record company? Huh, Pop? I'm warning you. <laughs> they think you're a sick joke. They think you ride us so hard to hide the fact you were a total loser. Get out of here! Yeah, see what happens, you give him a little bit of zone then. Yeah! Ow! Come out of the van, mister! Out of the family! You're gone! Do you hear me? Out!
Oh, fun, fun, fun is the biggest record we've ever had. Yeah. And it only becomes number five thanks to the Beatles. Hey, come on, we made a bundle on it. Is that why we're doing this? So you can ride around Hollywood in a new vet? I don't ride around in a vet. I drive a Porsche. <laughs> We're getting whomped by the British invasion, and they're making jokes. I've never written one note to make money. All I've ever wanted to be was the best. You are, honey. Have you heard Meet the Beatles? How am I ever supposed to top that? Well, obviously, you never will. So why don't you just eat another quart of ice cream and forget about it? You think I have it in me to write a number one song? No. distracting to have him keep shaking his head like that. Uncle Murray, knock it off! No. Not until he changes the way he sings that line. It's too loud. It's supposed to be that way. Every time you crank up the volume, I fade out on the bass line. You don't know what you're doing. Here he comes. Don't you ever talk to me that way again, young man. I made you and the Beach Boys. You'd be nothing without me. Nothing. You're fired. Do you understand? You're fired. The Beach Boys fire you right now. Now, you're fired. If you think you'll ever be able to produce a hit song... I produce me. all of them without you, you fool! They... Man, they've rigged up a fake panel so that you would have something to fiddle with during the sessions. Now get out of here! Oh. <laughs> hey, Pop. Um... You! You brought this on. You turned him against me. The Beach Boys fall apart without me. And you will fall apart without me. Don't come crawling back to me. Because starting now, you're on your own. 